Hey everybody, Smitty and Luna here again just to uh, do another video for you. I'm actually going to do a what sold video. Um, we, we've had a, quite a few sales, but a lot of smaller sales. Say hi. Look how pretty that kitty is. Yeah. Oh, she's so gorgeous. My baby. All right, go on. She really didn't want to be on camera. Actually, she just didn't want to be held at the moment. She, uh, I think she smells the cat from next door on me. Apparently, the neighbors left their side gate open and their, their German Shepherd got out. And so she was in our front yard barking at cars that uh, drive by. I'm not sure why she keeps going in our front yard, but she did. I don't even know her name. But... Uh, I ushered her back in her yard and closed their gate. Tried to tell them, but they, they don't answer the door. So I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so she doesn't like other animals. Luna is very, very um, spoiled, I think is the word for it. Yeah, spoiled and jealous. So, um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to do a, a what sold video today i'm gonna have to do it on the computer i was going to do it earlier this morning and then my lovely wife decided to clear the table off and package everything up and so now i have nothing to videotape except for on the computer and so we've actually already went through we have listed about 33 items 35 items out of the big DVD haul and these are just regular ones just single DVD movies uh, some of them are Spanish movies some of them are just old um, like sci-fi black and white movies that are actually still sealed there I think they're reproduction CDs but um, still all from like the early 2000s um, and just the 15 that we listed today should be actually about, if we sell them, of course, about $275 um, on the entire investment of only $80. So uh, we've sold one so far. Um, that's Back to the Beach um, with Annette Funicello. And I can't remember who else is in that movie, but uh, it was only $10. But we've already made eight dollars back basically out of our eighty dollar investment and we just started listing these day before yesterday um so i think all in all we're gonna have a huge amount of profit out of these dvds we haven't even touched on the uh, amount of tv series dvds that we have and i'm about to break myself um, but if you look under here, not the bowl, obviously, that's our hat soaking bowl. If they're really, really dirty, they get soaked in that bowl. That came from our bakery. We've had that thing for 20 years plus, but all four of these bins are completely full of DVDs, uh, that we got from that and the ones that won't fit right there on top. So, so far I've been going through and just doing the ones that are um, more lucrative, uh, higher profit, uh, and prices on, on eBay, and more of the ones that are still sealed as opposed to the ones that are open and used, uh, because I'm going to probably end up lotting some of them together and listing them that way with either like movies or same actors, things of that sort. Um, but let's go ahead and get into what has sold over the last week. Uh, unfortunately, we did have, from the last video, we did have that uh, stereo receiver that we sold and the buyer did not pay after seven days and so I, it automatically canceled and so we lost out. So last weekend actually was gonna be really good and then it ended up just okay so 
that that 200 bucks basically um, made a, a good difference on how well we did last weekend but uh, it hasn't been so bad and uh, we're gonna get into the what sold okay guys so here we go with uh, the sales here so we the first thing is I'm gonna do eBay Macari Poshmark and then Facebook marketplace so um, the first thing we have here is this uh, Forever 21 women's multicolor floral uh, one piece romper is what it's called I guess um, this sold for $19 plus uh, shipping and actually it looks like this one was I'm not quite sure where this was going but uh, the buyers all in for thirty one dollars and fifty four cents um, so that's actually super expensive for the shipping so they must be across the uh, United States or maybe even out of the country I'm not sure but uh, it doesn't show me that info where where they are on the page I'm looking at. I probably could look it up, but I don't want to take the time for that. Uh, and then the next thing is we've got this um, Eddie and the Cruisers CD set. Uh, I had the original motion picture soundtrack for the first one and second one. Um, these sold for $22 plus three dollars and 19 cents media mail shipping so the buyers all in for 2519 and then we have this electric dreams vintage also vintage um, soundtrack from the movie electric dreams this one was actually made in England uh, must have been imported into the US um, in like new mint condition uh, I believe I bought it brand new and never really used it um, the buyer paid $28 plus $319 shipping for that one so they're all in for $33.37 and then we've got this pair of Vans off the wall men's size 11 um, retro blue skull uh, tennis shoes, uh, skater shoes, low tops, and uh, in really good condition. They did have one little flaw on them. I think we have it in the picture here somewhere. Not certain where, but it's in one of the pictures. There was a little tiny tear uh, in one of the shoes, I think. Maybe that picture is not there. Uh, or maybe it's there when you hover in. Anyway, all right. Well, I know there was a flaw in there, but uh, the buyer paid twenty uh, $24. We took an offer for $24 um, plus eight seventy shipping, so the buyer's all in for $35.29. I am so surprised we sold this, but the person was super happy that the music box worked, so I think that that's all they were really interested in um, for this, but it's the Nutcracker Sweet March musical fight scene, Snow Globe. Um, this one is was just super disappointing. I mentioned it in another video. I got it from a thrift store. It was so nice. The the music box worked. I paid, I think, four bucks for it, uh, if I remember right. And then I get it home, I go to shake it, and one of the little knives right there, um, actually, I think you can see it right there on the front, right here on the front, it broke off. And then the soldier guy just fell over. Um, I was super disappointed. Uh, I've had it for quite a while, um, but the buyer paid ten dollars and nine dollars and twenty-five cents in shipping, uh, so he's all in for twenty dollars and nineteen cents. I'm sorry, excuse me. She is all in for twenty dollars and nineteen cents, and then 
The next one is James and the Giant Peach Special Edition, disc only, uh, in a Slim Jewel case. Uh, it's still in very, very good condition, the disc itself. Um, the buyer is, <coughs> excuse me, paid $10 for it. Uh, buyer's in for, looks like $3.19 shipping, so $14.22. And then the next one that I was really happy about was this uh, Fox Racing and Rockstar collaboration jersey. Uh, it's a really, really nice jersey. It did have where at the bottom there, it the seam was coming off. But other than that, this was in super good condition. Um, and this one was a little funny because the the buyer actually I had sent out an offer I think for $29 um, and I'm not quite sure why but um, the person declined the offer and then paid full price for the jersey so instead of paying 29 they paid $35 and I really appreciate that of course but um, I'm not sure why they would have done that. It was a little strange of a sale, but um, I'll take it anyways. And they're all in for $40.20 with $5.10 shipping. Um, so, and then this next one actually has not been paid for yet, but the, the buyers already communicated with me that they don't get paid until tomorrow. So um, they'll be paying for it tomorrow. Um, we sent out an offer for this one. It was listed for $28. Uh, sent out an offer for $29. I mean, $21, excuse me. Uh, and actually, I have that backwards. The buyer offered $21 for this item, and uh, we accepted the offer of $21 for this one. And they paid they haven't paid shipping yet but it's going to be about 925 so they're going to be all in for just over thirty dollars once they pay and then the next item is an o'neill this just sold this morning a uh, really nice o'neill um, hawaiian shirt uh, it's really nice if it had been my size i would have kept this one uh, it is size large and buyer paid uh, $14 uh, we accepted an offer of 14 and uh, 510 in shipping it looks like 510 in shipping but actually it looks like uh, $6.87 uh, on the other page here that they paid so they're all in for $20.87 um, and then we have this woman's a New Day Women's Loose Tank Top, uh, sheer, size medium, just a regular tank top, as you can see with the close-up, it has lint on it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, when that was, that's what happens when you get really, really close. Um, but it's just a regular, plain tank top, $9. Uh, it was new without tags. Uh, they paid $9, and then... $7.24 shipping. And the next one also sold this morning is a Molokai Surf Company men's short sleeve um, Hawaiian shirt, button up shirt. Uh, it has little Hawaiian scenes on there. As you can see, red palm trees. Uh, size extra large, buyer actually paid $8. Uh, I sent out an offer and they accepted within like five minutes. Uh, they must have been right on the, the app as I sent it. And then it looks like about $5.81 shipping. So they're all in for $13.81. And then the last item, again, sold this morning. Uh, is this Minnie Mouse Kids Beanie, Knit Beanie? 
size 2 to 5T uh, with the red bow on top. Uh, we sold this for $9.99 plus uh, looks like $5.48 shipping. Uh, so the buyer's all in for $15.49. Uh, and that's all of our sales for the week on eBay uh, for about a week. It might be about five days, actually. Four days. Yeah, actually, this is only four days worth of sales uh, on eBay. And then we have our Macari sales, which I don't remember if I went through this one on my last What Sold video. It may have been sitting on that desk there, but I can't completely remember. And I'm really surprised, actually, that we sold this item because of the fact that whatever happened with the listing on Macari, the title just ended up saying controller. Um, not certain why the actual title went away, but this is actually an Afterglow PS3 Clear uh, game controller wired, and it's got blue LEDs in it, so it uh, lights up blue when you when you plug it in. So sold for fifteen dollars plus looks like ten ninety. Oh no, I'm sorry, six nine eighteen shipping on Macari. And then I sold this package of brand new sealed Washington Redskins playing cards. Um, they were new sealed in the box. I paid five dollars for these so not much of a, a profit here um, but I'm glad that they uh, went. Sold them for eight dollars uh, plus eight, six, or 618 shipping. And then we've got this pair of men's faded glory jeans, light blue, size 32-34. These also sold only for eight bucks, uh, plus 10.99 shipping. And then the next one is these Nike Zoom Stefan Janoski canvas trainers, uh, men's size 10. We did have them listed for 60, but I did have them a little high because there were basically none listed um, and only a couple of sold. And they were right around that area, but these were in really good condition. Um, so I listed these a little high, so, and we only paid $5 for them. So I decided, let's go ahead and take that 45 uh, that they offered, and it was plus, it looks like 10.99 shipping. So the buyer would be in for $56, basically. Um, and that's actually all of the Macari sales that we have. Um, in my last video, I went over the uh, Mickey Mouse train conductor hat that came back to me. I had to print out my own label from Pirate Ship. Thankfully, they, they have really good prices. Um, and so I took a little bit of a loss on that part of it, but uh, all in all, I only paid $5 for the hat. So we're still going to make about $30 profit on the hat itself. Um, and Actually, tomorrow I should get my uh, payout for that hat, finally, uh, after about two weeks. And then we're going to move on to Poshmark. We've actually sold quite a few items, not a lot of big items, but quite a few items on Poshmark. Um, the last one that we sold in my last video was that LeapFrog pad, um, which was good. And then now we sold this yogurt maker, um, a vintage yogurt maker from 1995 that was still sealed in the box, brand new with books and everything. Uh, I'm not quite sure why somebody would hold on to something for that long, uh, but they did. And we sold it for $20 plus Poshmark shipping.
And then we've got this uh, Looney Tunes Tweety Bird Beanbag Plush, uh, vintage, 1997. Uh, it wasn't worth a whole lot. I only paid a dollar for it. Um, so I uh, sold it for eight plus Poshmark shipping. And then I got this at actually one of the yard sales, uh, the mega yard sale. Uh, this Pentax IQ Zoom 140mm film camera. Um, and I actually had to buy, these take special batteries, these 123A batteries. Um, we had this listed for, I believe, 45 it doesn't show me what we had it listed for, but somebody offered 38 for it, and I went ahead and took it because it was only $7 less than what I was asking, and it was more than I actually expected out of this camera. So it was uh, very good, and the the camera cost me 4 bucks, and the batteries cost me $5, so I only had $9 into it. So even after fees, we're making about $27. And that's plus Poshmark shipping. And then we've got this Nautica Malibu Triathlon um, 2016 embroidered uh, hat. This is actually in really, really good condition. Um, it's a special event hat. And I believe I had this listed for 14 and somebody offered $12 for it, and I went ahead and took it. Um, we had had this hat for a while. I picked it up at Goodwill for 4 bucks. Um, so not a huge profit, but we're probably making about $5 on it. And every $5 makes, you know, a little bit more money, right? And then the next one, we've got this... Uh, Herborian CC cream. Uh, it's a face cream. Uh, it's a tra mini traveling cream. I think we had. Actually, we had this listed for $9 and it sold for $9 plus Poshmark shipping. And it is brand new in the package. And then, now uh, this is an item that. The, my friend gave, gave me um, that I was really surprised that it was actually worth as much, much as it is but this is basically just a bicycle pouch you put it on the bike and it holds your phone and down here at the bottom here it has cord holes where your the cables and your headphones can go through it uh, it's just a way to store your wallet phone all kinds of stuff and this actually was listed for 18 and sold it for 18 plus Poshmark shipping. And the last item from Poshmark is this one. I've had this one since I went to Daily Deals the first 25 cent day. I thought, oh, it's a it's a filter for a dust buster. It'll sell really quick. And I thought it would be worth a little bit more money, but it wasn't. Um, but we listed it anyway. I got it for a quarter. So anything um, is a little bit of profit. So uh, we probably made about $5 actually on this one, even with Poshmark fees, and sold for what we were asking for it. And on to Facebook. So this one is one of the DVDs we got out of the huge lot that I was talking about. And this is Back to the Beach with Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello. Um, I don't even know what year this was, but, oh, 1987 is the year of the movie. And it sold for $10 plus 289 media mail shipping. And we sold this vintage Kawasaki Yamaha Honda t-shirt. Uh, it was missing the tag, unfortunately. Um, so we had it listed, actually, on Facebook. We don't have any of our items um, for allowing offers. So 
all of our items except for one, which will be the last one I go over, are all full price plus shipping. So this one went out for $4 shipping. And same thing with this one. We had it listed for $29. This is a Guinness um, suede build snapback hat. Just a really nice with tag um, suede hat. It, I could not find its equal on eBay or anywhere else actually. Um, not the exact same hat, um, but some that were really close. So I, I priced it accordingly because it's very seems to be very rare. And someone purchased it for the twenty the full asking price of twenty nine plus five seventy five shipping. And our next one is uh, one of the Leapfrog. Uh, leap pad and Leapster, I think, um, cartridges. Uh, this is Doc McStuffins from Disney. Um, full asking price $10 plus $4 shipping. And then a pair of Wrangler jean shorts, light blue, size 32, uh, in great condition. Uh, Ten dollars plus five seventy-five shipping. And our last item, which was actually something that was hanging up in my shed, um, because my dad actually grew up being a mechanic or a an engineer, and he loved working on cars, so he had this actually hanging up in the shop, and I decided I was going to take it down because it was super rare. But despite the fact that these have been modified a little bit, um, my full asking price, actually, this is the only item that I had offers on. I was actually asking 300 for them. Um, had had quite a few inquiries, but no definitive um, sales. People were, n didn't like that it was, uh, it looked like it was cut down. If you look at this last picture here, it is much smaller than the bottom uh, and so it looks like they modified it to hang it or make it look prettier but this is vin true vintage it is super old uh, it is a Ford 427 dual quad carburetor air cleaner um, in really good condition normally these are chrome uh, they my dad actually painted them black um, because that was the color scheme of the engine that he was working on and he was going to use this but never did he decided to hang it up instead and uh, so this actually we accepted an offer for 200 for this item and it actually should be getting there next week we just shipped this out on Monday so uh, but the $200 sale for this one was was really really um, surprising considering people were not very happy with the fact that it was modified but we found some the right buyer apparently and there you go and that's what happens is you find the right person for the items that you're selling so that is actually it for the sales and uh, time to close out this video I think. Alright guys so that uh, that wraps up the uh, what sold video over the last four or five days um, and so we are going to Go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, the content. I know that it it probably gets a little bit boring when you're just looking at what I'm looking at on the screen. And okay, so we've got another visitor here. If you didn't know, that is our outside kitty, kind of slash neighborhood kitty. Her name is Ginger. She's super pretty too. But uh, Luna does not like her at all. 
Um, she was just trying to attack her through the uh, sliding glass door. And uh, so, again, that wraps up our video for today. I hope you enjoyed and uh, liked the What Sold video. I know that uh, some people like them, some people don't. Uh, I try to get to where you can see the actual stuff that I've sold, but it's not uh, always that that easy to do. My wife is on top of it when it comes to uh, getting things ready to ship out. But uh, if you're still here, hit that like button. It helps out a lot. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. If you haven't done so that way I can see you on the next video and uh, hit that bell icon if you want to so you get notified of new videos I have videos every other day right now I'm not sure if they're gonna be that way still uh, once those run out because I'm not sourcing as much because I have so much inventory we've got to get these uh, DVDs all listed and on eBay and once that dials down then I'll go back out sourcing again but uh, I'm hoping to hit some more yard sales or storage units I actually was talking to a buddy he wants to uh, he wants to actually go on go halves on a storage unit and have fun unloading it and stuff like that so I might look into that too so again if you uh, Enjoy the video. Hope to see you again next time. Smitty out.